Hey everybody, Rock DIY here. What I've got here is a video where I'm going to talk about uh, the events icon on the home screen for your UFI camera system, and then specific, more specifically, the smart filter on how to use the smart filter. So here you can see the app on my computer. Well, on my, you can see the UFI app on my phone and here you can see my devices so I've got several cameras set up and in this case you're not going to go into your uh, individual camera settings you're going to go into the main app settings and in this case down at the bottom of the screen you see events so you go to events and then here there's a date you can switch that date and then there's a filter right here and so just to explain what's going on right here right now so today is February 18 of 2025 there's some pictures of some people here and then there's some videos and in this case um, I just changed it because I had played with the settings but these are all the video events that occurred, occurred throughout the day on 18 February. But if you want to uh, use the smart filter, uh, and there's different things that you can filter for, but typically when you first open it up, it's going to show whatever people uh, that have already been identified, or if they're strangers, they'll show up across the top. And then your videos will show up down here, and then you'll have the the smaller uh, thumbnails of people, pets, cars, so on and so forth. But let's just say you want to look for something very specific. You click the uh, smart filter icon. This is what's going to come up. So the event type, you can select all or just video or just an alert and uh, alert. Well, let's just say, so all, all events, self-explanatory. Um, if the event type is just a video, you can select video, or you can select just alert. The alert would be something that you set up where you just want alerts, but there's no video. So like a package shows up at your house, you may just get an alert, but there's no video or whatever. It just depends on your settings uh, for your individual cameras. And that may be your uh, UFI doorbell camera. Uh, so I'll go through these real quick here. Uh, if you select all, you're going to get videos and alerts. And your detection type is types are human, pet. I'm not sure why crying is on there, but that's on there. And then vehicle and package. And then you got devices. So uh, disconnected devices. You got the UFI base, uh, and in this case are cameras are have different names so those are all your cameras and then you've got local storage or you got cloud uh, local storage is going to be what you either have on a camera or what you have on your home base cloud you may have your own cloud uh, but you may have a subscription service for the cloud as well and then you've got favorites so uh, I'm just going to make up some examples so let's just say, for instance, event type, you just want it to be all. And then the detection type, let's just say that I knew there was, I have animals walk through my yard all the time. I've got my own uh, dogs that walk around the yard. But let's just say I know there was a, a dog fight or something, somebody else's dogs. And they're in the yard, my dog's got in a fight with those dogs. I could select pet. And then what I'm going to do is go up here and go confirm. And so what's going to happen now, it's not going to change this up here. It's going to change those videos. And you can see here where pet was selected. So there's a video with a pet. Actually, all these videos are our dogs. And then the little thumbnails will show like uh, a human that was with a pet or with an animal. 
and then you'll have sometimes uh, individual animals and <laughs> it doesn't matter uh, whether it is your actual pet or not sometimes a deer will be in the yard or a bear will be in the yard and it'll say pet um, so now you can go back up here and let's say we want to include uh, vehicles as well so let's see we get any more yeah so we get more videos of vehicles so second one down is one of our cars uh, fourth one down well third one down there's our there's cars parked and then, then fourth one cars being parked and then you got the uh, USPS van delivering and if you keep going then there's another one where cars pulling out and cars pulling in um, some other reasons and I've used this in the past uh, I had an issue with a propane tank and the company had told me that they sent somebody out to look at my propane tank and so they if they did come they never knocked on my door or anything and they swore up and down that someone from their business had checked my propane tank so what I did is I selected human and I selected vehicle and this is just an example um, I don't specifically have to select any of these uh, because the event type is all and it includes videos so any of these devices these videos but if you know exactly where they might have been then you could select one on specific camera or multiple cameras because you want uh, different views and then you can select these other things as well so I select video I selected human and vehicle and event type all I'm going to confirm so in this case human and vehicle selected and any case where there's a person uh, and then you'll see human vehicle stranger stranger um, something I have to say about some of this stuff on here is there's artificial intelligence in use and so there's specific uh, pets and people that are part of my household and then for some reason uh, even though I set it up to recognize myself and other family members for some reason it'll say stranger uh, even for people who've been added yeah, and so now going back you'll see vehicle you'll see delivered and then human uh, basically a package was delivered uh, vehicle human stranger 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 so it'll just keep going so there are those filters so the the other thing is you can if there's faces you recognize you can select them and then it says do you know this person add as a familiar face and you can say yes um, another thing next to the filter is you can uh, select that where it looks like a pencil that's sideways uh, right under select all you can click that and then you'll get the circle off to the right hand side of your videos and you can go through and delete videos maybe there are certain videos you look you're looking for that you want taken off um, you can set the filters and then go in and individually select individually select them and then go down to the bottom right and tap the trash can and it will get rid of those videos Uh, if you're going, 
you can go through uh, doing different things. It's all dependent on what you uh, want. You know, some people are only going to have a few things. And, you know, if you have an air, if your cameras are set up in a very busy area and you know something or some event occurred between this hour and this hour or on this day, and it was a human or a person, then you can go through and select those specific things that uh, you want to select. And then, you know, if you got a bunch of different things selected, you can just go here and just click deselect all, and it gets rid of all of them. But normally, it's going to default to just all. So all your videos are going to show up here. And that is how you use uh, the event smart filter. Oh, I don't think I really mentioned it. Well, I probably didn't. But here you can select the date and do all those same things. So obviously 19th is tomorrow. So, but what I can do is select it and then go back. Um, you'll see the 18th is blue. That means it's today. And then you can go and you'll see the dots underneath the numbers in the calendar. That means there are events. If you see a date, like up at the top, you can see the 29th, there's no dot. So there was no events recorded. And I believe that's the day our home base was down for some reason. Um, something else you can set specifically with the calendar is you can go and use the slider bar to select a certain time range that you want to look at. And then you can confirm or just go back to today. But for instance, I can go, I can select the 17th. Uh, confirm it and then it's going to show me different pictures of the top of different people and it's going to be strangers vehicle it's going to be everything that showed up that day but I can imagine that if you're a business and you've got uh, cameras this uh, can be <laughs> loaded full of many many videos and it's going to be even more depending on the number of cameras you have. So there you go. That's how you use the um, go to the events and then use the smart filter to find specific things. Thanks for watching.